everyone and it's me again and um, I don't know if most of the people have got this video with um, Markiplier but there's something that has changed about YouTube he's been um, saying and um, let's just get to the video. Hello! Hi! <laughs> it's been four years and I still don't know how to introduce myself on a vlog but hello! How's it going? I am here because I want to say words, and words is the only thing that I know how to do good, apparently not. God damn it. Okay, so I wanted to make a video because I wanted to talk to you guys about some thoughts that I've been having about YouTube. Because just a few days ago, it was actually the four-year anniversary that I've been on YouTube. It's four years ago that I started posting videos, and four years ago that my life totally changed and became all about YouTube. And the only thing that I have the right to talk about is things that are in my immediate bubble, and my bubble is very small, but my bubble involves YouTube. I don't want to talk about international politics or bullshit like that, but I do know YouTube because I live YouTube. I experience YouTube every day. I wake up and think about YouTube. I wake up and think about the videos that I was supposed to make the day before, but I was too lazy to make, and then I got to make them that day, and then I got to hurry up and get ahead of my schedule. I know YouTube and I love doing YouTube. I love making videos for you guys. It's it's literally the purpose that I've put my life to. And that is good because it gives me something that I am motivated for. It gives me something that pushes me forward and higher and makes me a better person. And also, it puts food on the table so that I'm not starving. So this all combines into something that is very important to me. YouTube is my life. YouTube is everything that I do. It's literally the only priority that I have in my daily life. And that's because I love doing it. And I love doing I YouTube love as well. Doing it. And then that makes me self-reflect on what YouTube is turning into. And YouTube is changing. YouTube has changed over the years many times. It's changed leaderships. It's changed design decisions. Sorry. New people have come in, old people have left, people have moved around, you guys have changed your tastes. But what I see from doing this for four years is what I can only describe, and I took a lot of time thinking about these words, is a self-fulfilling cycle of pessimism. And that's a big phrase for Marky Moo to say, but that is the only way that I can describe what I see every day. And what I mean by self-fulfilling, self, self, what did I even say? I don't even know. What I say by the vicious cycle of pessimism is what I'm going to call it now. <laughs> and someone quote me on that. Is that when people are doing YouTube, they are after a few things. And you can't fault them for it because, of course, people would want to do this for the living. But they are after influence, more viewers, and money. And that's but I don't see that. I don't you know, see the you, point I, of that. I, am, I would be a hypocrite if I said... I would do this for free because I couldn't and I wouldn't because it's part of my income and it's how I live. So, of course, I want to do it. It's my job, but I don't treat it as my job, but it is my job. So I'm hypocritical if I was to criticize anyone for going after YouTube for it's money. Not my that's job not what I'm doing because even YouTube, the YouTube's business, got a job. if you asked an executive at YouTube, they would go. I want to do YouTube, but um, I'm not going to do YouTube as a job because it's just you sit in a chair playing games that's all that's not a job it's just you're playing a game and doing nothing it's just to entertain people it's to um encourage people um giving them the taste of what are that person's playing and um instead of you playing it so they are showing you what the game is like before you playing it so it's not kind of a job it's like a um um just for fun it's but that's changed now, apparently, that people just want to um, plagiarise, plagiarise people to saying that um, I want more from you, I want more money, I want more subscribers, I want more views. That's what it's all, that's what, that's what it's all about. It's all about just having fun, not about money. It's all about, well, I'm not going to go that, down that path, I'm not going to go down that road, but... Most people want to do that. I do as well, but why? It, you don't always have to get money for YouTube. It's not just that. So, um, 
Let's just carry on on watching this. We want more views, more money, more ad revenue, and more, 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 more. And you can't exactly fault them for that. It's the nature of the business of things. But what I know, being at the heart of YouTube and being where I am now from where I started, I've seen this change in attitude. And it's very subtle and it's hard to see, but it's definitely there. It's a change from seeing YouTube as a platform where anyone can do anything and anyone can put up whatever they want, whenever they want, to a system where you have to follow strict rules. You have to follow strict protocols. You have to criticize others. It's every man for himself and no... Stop right there a minute. Criticize people. That's not really what YouTube is all about. It's all about, oh, your video's crap, do another one. Or your video, your intro's shit, do another one. It's not about that, it's just about having fun. Not to, um, be mean, not to write hate comments. It's all about just entertaining people. That's all. So, um, I'm gonna end the video there. So, like I always say, like, subscribe, comment down below, favourite, share it with your family, friends, pets, anyone you can find. And for that, I'm going to dash out. See ya. Bye.